Welcome back to Triple O Seven. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to test for faulty RAM using MemTest eighty six. Testing for faulty RAM is something that a lot of times people don't check when the computer is having random reboots, um, random hangs, and MemTest is an easy, very simple way to do that. You can head to the website memtest86.com. I'll have a link in the description below and go to the free download section. It's a very small file, so it only takes a couple of seconds. And all you need to do is either download it for Windows or Linux and Mac, and then choose if you want to do the ISO version, which will, go, which will burn to a CD, or you can download the USB version, which will come with some files to help you burn the image file to USB. Since the ISO is pretty easy, I'll do the USB version. All you gotta do is so download the USB, open up imageusb.exe software, as included. Your flash drive should show up. Verify it using the size and the volume name, and then simply just check it off on the left-hand side. And everything else just stays the default. Just verify the path is still incorrect. It should automatically pull it, but if it doesn't, then just um, browse to it. And after that, all you gotta do is hit write to UFD, and it will write the file to the flash drive. Once that is done, turn your computer off, and then plug the flash drive in and boot from the flash drive. It will automatically start the memtest OS and start the memory testing. The, the more RAM you have, the longer it will take. So there are some variables. Uh, this is a virtual machine which only, with only one gig of RAM. So testing it is gonna be very quick. And now just wait and see. So come back 10 minutes later, have a coffee and see if you have any errors. So obviously this virtual machine passed with no errors, which is good. If you, have, if you do have errors, then something is up, and it is worth Googling what it says, the error code, etc., on Google to see what the exact issue is. But if your RAM is having errors, I would rerun it again. If it happens again, you might want to look into replacing it. A good way to identify which RAM module it is is kind of playing a game where you take all of them out and do one test on one RAM stick at a time, and eventually you will find which RAM stick is having the issues. So that's pretty much it. This week I'm actually going to Europe, so I'm going to try making a couple of videos in advance and then uploading them so they can still come out. Um, if you have any suggestions for uh, future videos, leave those below as well. If you're interested in following my trip in Europe, I'm going to be posting to Instagram probably a good amount, so I'll have a link in the description below to my Instagram and you can see some photos from Europe um, while I'm there. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you in my future videos. This is Hacker Trip 7 and I'm signing off.